Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name. Sheep's the game. And this morning, we're at the Wilboard Depot here. What a lot of wool we've got sitting about. Just joking. This is Billy Wilsh's shed. He's, he's keeping his wool until the price rises. Could be here a while. This is the ewe lambs that we've bought. I spoke about them in the last vlog. Here's a closer look at them here. Tremendous looking ewe lambs. Just run in off the field this morning. We're going to take the wool off them before we go. There's 81 here. And the plan is to get them all on the trailer. And we'll do that by taking the wool off them. There's other benefits, but that is one major benefit. They look, they look like they're going to be nice this year. Uh, Billy, I see you sneaking about there. Uh, fantastic looking lambs this year. How do you do it? Oh, I don't know. It's easy. <laughs> but buying good tops or buying good cows? Keep, what, what, keep what? the skins right. Aye. Keep the skins right. So that, you've seen them before. And then we'll get a look at them again after. Lovely skins though, they love this, this crimp, nice tight wool like this. They'll make good gimmers. Oh, no. oh, nearly tripped over the top of the boys here. Jock, are you pushing Angus? Hi Angus. Right, you're going to end up cooped, I can tell. This is going to be trouble. Uh, so Lizzie's going to keep an eye on the boys. Marissa, uh, and help with the wool, Marissa's going to shear today. Uh, you go in this, this handpiece, Marissa, here. I've put a safe comb on that for you. Jeans are on, moccasins are on. Right, let's get started. Billy's got places to be. These are double yellow. I went with your tags last year, Billy. They were double yellow too, weren't they? I think you were double yellow last year too. This is only oil we have, Marissa. I forgot the oil. And that's not even working, so. Do you know what a piezel is? Do you know what a piezel is? Yeah. That's the willy bit. If you see a willy bit, don't sh don't just take the belly off it. Don't sh uh, don't shear the whole thing. Oh, they're nice bare bellies anyway. It's peelers. You keep Marissa right, Lizzie. She's a wee hand right. This sequence was left in not to try and embarrass Marissa in any way for the, the lamb getting out of control, more to say well done for keeping a hold of it and finishing off those little bits that other people would have just have said, ah, oh, too late, it's gone, let it run. So she's tied that lamb up and made a cracking job for the first sheep she's shown in a long time. And to be honest, this is only her second or third time on the trailer this summer after breaking her wrist. And although she did miss a little bit round the tail, she still made a very good job. Didn't put it down the porthole right enough. That's a box of beer, and mum saves the day, as she always does. So when I watched this sequence back, I liked it for various reasons, one of them being Billy and Jock having a bit of fun there with his, his biscuits, but also watching Marissa and thinking that was me about 10 years ago, learning to shear and shearing next to someone who had been shearing for a while and who was shearing the sheep very quickly and efficiently while I struggled to keep a hold of it, I struggled to move around it, 
and generally just struggled with the pain of your back, your legs, your arms. And it's a thing we don't see very often in this channel is a raw beginner trying to shear sheep and if you watch Marissa here, the lamb giving her a kick, she has to switch her machine off and reset this lamb. Now as a beginner shearer, virtually every sheep you're going to have to reposition at least once while you're shearing it, which adds to a lot of stress on the body. Of course a lot of stress for the sheep as well, but we need shearers, we need people to learn to shear. And as long as they're not cutting the sheep and they are aware of how they're holding the sheep and that the primary focus should be keeping that sheep comfortable, then they'll do fine. As you see there, she steps up the neck actually tremendously well. Technique's really coming on. These lambs are nice because they're a better size for Marissa to hold on to and any beginner. Although they wriggle a lot more than you's. Right, that's those lambs uh, all shown. Marissa, are you alright? Mm -hmm. Aye. She did well. She did well, eh? Did? Aye. That's only a second or third time shearing. She broke her wrist, so she's missed the whole summer. Oh no. Aye, messing about in dirt bikes. Uh, so, Billy, here's an interesting thing, folks, that you won't see very often. So, I've I bought these lambs off Billy. Uh, we've shown them, and I've still never, never even spoke to him about price there. But that's just the kind of man Billy is. You can do that and just have full faith that it'll look after <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Even brought the children to see how much we're struggling, just a young family getting on. Have you decided a price? Oh, yes. What is the price? I'm not telling you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just send their kids. <laughs> I, I cannot be fair. I'll let you know when I find out. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It has to be now I've done this. Watch it, Jockey. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, he is, isn't he? <laughs> Boing. No, no, watch it. Watch. Oh, well done. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Push it. Come by. Okay, now we'll get a stick reader out, we'll get these recorded onto Flock Watch and added to the sheep game Flock. So here we go, open our Flock Watch app, we're going to connect the reader, press connect, pair new device. And you do that and the reader will pop up, select that, and it'll flash up on both, pair, pair. And that's done. And then we're going to go add, and we're going to add sheep. Uh, do I want to create group with the new sheep? I think I do. Create group with animals, title, billies. You, lambs, 23. I better do 2023 20, or I think that's the number. There we go. So Lizzie's adding them on. First 16 done. More than one here. Could, couldn't you have done that if you hadn't showed them? So then we just push next and it'll ask us to record these new sheep and they are lambs but they are breeding news, lambs breeding news, uh, I'm going to put them as breeding news because that's what they are. From another flock, season born, spring 23, I've got to change the birth date to, when did you lamb these Billy? When were they born these lambs? 
Scottish males the breed. Female. Save. Done. Added to the flock just like that. Mostly twins. Billy's your lambs. Oh! That was close. Who was that? I took the kids' toys out earlier. Oh, Lizzie. Some girl. Could have been worse. Good job we noticed it now. We've done that before. Door was open. Right, on to the next job. The next job is going through our blackies and cheviots that we had in in the last video. Almost out of fuel here on the bike. We'll just get them in here. These are all now technically Lizzie's sheep. We've got sore feet and we've got the odd, well there's not bad, many bad bags to be fair. But they're needing a good sort through, there's all sorts in here. Old Jews ready to go, some younger ones we'll keep. The home the time we sell all our lambs, or more of our lambs, and sell some of these cull yows, we'll be able to afford to buy 300 breeding sheep, that's the plan. Sore foot at the back here. They're always at the back. Dolly Meg, we. See! See! Oh, she's missed those ones. See! See! Come by. Lie down. Nice gimmels there. What a bonny view from up here. Hi, Jock. Have you had a good nap? Dad forgot his leggings. Testing out a new jacket from Bettercraft, which I think is a, I think is a, is a winner. This is for lambing time, really. I'm not, I'm not actually sure what you call it, but it's Bettercraft and it's like a short sleeve, but it's like a jacket and it's kind of lined. It's quite nice and warm. So I'm thinking probably too warm for summer, although not when you're on the bike, but I'm thinking lambing time, short sleeves, but they're, they're short, but they're not short. They're kind of three quarter, but you know, if you're, if you're in there, they're, yeah, you know what I mean. Perfect for lambing. Marissa, how did you enjoy the, the sheep shearing experience this morning? Oh, it was difficult but fun. Yeah. Do you, I thought you did alright. Oh. say so, yeah. We'll let the viewers decide. You can let us know in the comments if you think Marissa did well or not. Be honest, because I couldn't really see her. We'll see when I edit it. So here we go. This is them without the lambs. They're in fairly good fettle. I must say, there's a variety. There's the odd gimmer. One that's been fly struck. Real mixed bag in here, not a pretty bunch of sheep, that's for sure. Real variety. But the plan is, as I say, in the future we're gonna have things nice and uniform. It's gonna take us two or three years, which you know this is only seasonal lets, so it, it could be next year it's all over. That's that's why it's so difficult, I think, for for us to really invest in a sort of long-term strategy like that, because it could be like you root that bit of ground. But there's a lot there's lots of farmers in similar boat who make a really good job of it, so what is it? Plan as if you'll live forever, but live as if you'll die tomorrow or something like that. That's that's gonna be our new farming motto, I think. Any lime ones? No, I don't see any. Check, check the bags. Give us a spray can. This is a good one. Not that old, I know, she's fine. I don't mind if they've had sore feet and they've recovered. I can, I can live with that. Aye, the ones that are lean, but it's like that. She's Aye, that, that, that double, double green. green. <laughs> Jesus, Joe. <John. laughs> so we're putting a blow the X on them if they're for cull. Some of them I'm not even marking because I know they're for cull based on the ear tags and the age of them and the condition really tells me they're older and then a blue dot in the head means I've been treated for a sore foot and of course uh, Lizzie's then recording it on flop watch as we go 02042 Job done The sheep you see behind me, if you can see them behind me are the ewes that are for cull on well whenever they go cull Jock's just wandering about with his stick reader some boy. And the ewes over here are ones we are probably keeping. Some of them will need to check bags again because they only got weaned yesterday, as you saw. So we'll need to check those bags again. And, you know, at some point they'll get a full MOT before they go to the top. 
and we can pick them out then. Meg is eating the boys' leftover crisps. Some boy jock. Lizzie's there, Marissa's there. What a glorious afternoon it's turned into, but that's five o'clock now on a Friday. Early finished Friday. That's us for this one, sheep fans. See you for the next one.